in business news. I'm very honored to have you today with me for In Business TV. Is Altamira taking over the management of the non-performing loans of the Cyprus Cooperative Bank on the 1st of January as it is already scheduled? Uh, yes, it is, uh, and we are very happy uh, to reach an agreement with the uh, cooperative and has the confidence of the cooperative team uh, to manage uh, this kind of assets in Cyprus. So, what is your first impression about uh, the bad loans uh, of the bank? How manageable do you believe is the situation? Well, it's, um, as uh, we are seeing in the south of Europe, in which we are present, is uh, exactly uh, similar uh, problems than in other countries. Uh, here is not uh, so different uh, what uh, we have seen in Greece, in Italy, in Portugal, in Spain. So we consider that the most important is to create that methodology to manage these uh, uh, MPL loans and establish a clear criteria to decide how can we fix it, uh, the issues. The only probably main difference between the, the countries in the south of Europe is the macroeconomic situation in every country. But uh, we consider that the macroeconomic scenario will be improved in general terms in south of Europe, including in Cyprus. Cyprus, we have uh, started to see some uh, clear signs of recovery and we are extremely convinced that the macroeconomic situation will improve and will help uh, to, to fix uh, most of the MPLs issue. Mm -hmm. The majority of the loans in the cooperative sector were granted to households and small and medium enterprises, two sensitive groups of our society. How does Altamira plan to handle these loans and how aggressively are you going to move? Altamira, Altamira is very respectful with the, with the, with the debtors. Uh, and uh, in general terms, uh, we follow uh, the criteria and the decision of the owner of the assets. Altamira is not the owner of the assets, Altamira is serve the assets. The owner of the assets is cooperative, and cooperative will decide exactly how will be the policy that we will follow with uh, this uh, most uh, uh, low income rental uh, debtors that uh, we will uh, need to face with them. Um, in Altamira, in four years, uh, managing uh, more than uh, 400,000 uh, debtors in the south of Europe, we didn't have any one single reputational issue. We treat and we manage all of the debtors, especially these kind of families, uh, with 100% uh, of respect. Uh, I want to stay uh, in the mm. same question. The current legislation framework in Cyprus provides high protection of the primary residence of households. Uh, how are you going to treat the borrowers and guarantors that has their primary residence as collateral? Actually, I, I believe that we shouldn't focus on, on a relatively small segment of the, uh, let's say, of the NPL uh, balance, as uh, um, that relates to it, it's, it's single digit. Actually, it, it's between, let's say, 10 to 20 percent of the NP balance in uh, in the Cypriot banking system. Uh, therefore, we should, uh, we should focus on the whole, let's say, um, on the full picture. And uh, uh, we do believe that the economic growth in Cyprus, the stabilization of the property market, as well as the um, uh, plethora of solutions offered by the, by the banks, especially our bank, they should uh, provide a leeway uh, for, uh, for solutions to, to be found. Uh, it is, uh, this is the reason why um, we, uh, as the bank, we have uh, set the strategy, which is our MP business plan, which is the JV's uh, uh, business plan. And we, we are setting the, the policies according to the local legal, legal legislation that it provides both for uh, obligations and duties. So it is, it is a, let's say, it's a binary uh, issue that is... Uh, uh, a debtor has both uh, duties and, and obligations. We do believe that with the, with the professionalism mm -hmm. and expertise of, uh, of uh, one of the best, if not the best, uh, NPL manager in Europe, we should be able to uh, provide more solutions faster uh, to um, to this situation. I mean, to these uh, kind of cases, but overall to. Um, um, all the cases of, uh, of, of the MPL issue 
for our clients. How many people are going to work for Altamira Cyprus and where are they going to come from? Will they be employees of the Cyprus Cooperative Bank in a similar way that Hellenic Bank worked with APS? Uh, I want your answer first and after Mr. Karians. Uh, first of all, this is a completely different, uh, let's say, deal. Our deal is unique. Our cooperation is, weak, is, is unique due to the size of the, um, uh, of the transaction, uh, due to the uh, counterpart involved, and uh, as well as to the actual uh, perimeter, that is um, uh, the Altamira Asset Management Cyprus Limited. They are going to manage actually all our MPs over 90 days. Uh, in terms of the, how many people are going to work, as many as required. It, it is the answer. We do hope that productivities and efficiencies will kick in into this JV. Initially, uh, we will carve out our, uh, a significant part of our N current NP division in order to provide the continuity and, um, and, um, and the know-how uh, for the Cyprus market. Uh, thereafter, the business plan of, of the JV, it, it provides for, for any resources required to be uh, obtained by the JV in order to uh, achieve the, uh, let's say, the, 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 the targets set. Okay, Mr. Karyans, please. I, I think in addition <laughs> to the carve-out uh, of the 400 people from, uh, from uh, CCB, we're going to be looking at hiring anywhere between 25 to 40 people within the next 12 months uh, or so. This would actually be people complementary to the existing team. I have to say that we have been very impressed as Altamira with the quality of the management of, uh, of CCB and, in, and the NPL unit um, in, in particular. Uh, another thing I would like to say is that the role of a servicer is not the role of an enforcer. The role of the servicer is, at least from our point of view and where Altamira is coming from, is trying to help the bank resolve a very significant issue that uh, of the MPLs, which presents not just for CCB but most of or, uh, practically every single Cypriot bank, for Greek bank for that matter, uh, an impediment for growth. The economy cannot possibly grow, grow unless you have well-functioning banks, and the bank's job is not to manage non-performing exposures. This should go as it does in the case of CCB and the initiative that Nicolas Hadjigianis uh, uh, took to specialized hands. Uh, and in terms of the people, that actually presents them with a career path. Because the natural role of a banker is not to manage bad exposures. The role of the banker is to provide growth capital. Uh, and it takes a special culture, a servicing culture, to deal with those issues. You're removing the moral hazard out of the bank, and our motto is to find amicable and friendly solutions uh, and not just go after you know, the bad guys. Of course, there is strategic defaulters, more on the corporate or the SME side, who are not only harming the bank, they're harming the taxpayer that has capitalized the banks. And these people need to be dealt with accordingly. But you know, the average residential mortgage uh, holder has nothing to fear, as Julian Navarro said, we will look for the appropriate solutions which will be very friendly and consensual in nature. The Minister of Finance has recently asked from the European regulator to have patience and, uh, on the issue of non-performing loans. What are the signals that you receive from Frankfurt? Are they going to be patient? This is a question for Mr. Karayanis and for Mr. Hadjianis also. And of course for Mr. Navarro maybe. We do recognize uh, and acknowledge that uh, the NPL uh, uh, issue um, it's a great burden for the for the Cypriot banking system. This is this is a fact. Uh, I need to point out that this is the reason why we have identified this problem and we took a holistic, let's say, approach uh, in order to treat this through the the, um, the creation of Altamira Asset Management Cyprus Limited. Uh, I would say that the matter of how much time is given. It's a matter of how um, credible um, somebody is, uh, how credible are the um, business plan, and uh, how you are underwriting the execution of, of, of this business plan. And this was a strategic consideration that we took in, in, into, into account when we created uh, this, uh, this uh, cooperation w with one of the best uh, NPL managers and, and servicers in, in Europe. 
And as Mr. Karian has mentioned, actually this is this is their job. The job of a bank is to, is, is to provide, let's say, good credit in order to utilize its capital and, and to help the economy grow. I think patience is a virtue. Um, and there's no general rule that one can infer. So you have a single supervisory mechanism in Europe, supervising all systemic banks, CCB, uh, along with the Bank of Cyprus, are systemic banks uh, here in Cyprus. There is no clear-cut path. If you ask me, I think the Italian banks have a longer way to go and a much bigger MPL problem as a, in terms of the size of the problem. In Italy, we're looking at a 300 billion plus in NPL market. Uh, and I have to say that you know, the, the, the interface between the various countries has not been exactly the same. Uh, I think this needs to be harmonized so that you don't play double standards. And it's a different thing or a different kind of pressure is exercised in Italy than it's exercised in Spain, than it's exercised in uh, um, Cyprus. I think the willingness from the SSM is, is to actually harmonize this type of, uh, uh, of, of approach and I believe they will need to be patient along the way given the diversity of the European uh, financial space. I think that what, what ECB is doing is uh, to send a message uh, to most the financial institutions in the south of Europe that uh, some solutions need to be put in place. Uh, we cannot, uh, they cannot continue to manage the MPLs as, as it is uh, in the last few years and uh, they are requested to them to uh, present uh, different plans, different uh, systems, different methodology with more professional services that could fix uh, faster and quickly this, uh, this, uh, this issue. So one last question uh, for you, uh, Mr. Navarro. Uh, we said uh, before we start this small discussion about uh, uh, the social responsible renting in Spain. What is this scheme uh, about? But social responsibility rent uh, is uh, simple uh, for to protect uh, <coughs> uh, the, the, law, the, legal, the legal framework in Spain protect uh, some uh, families uh, in, in some specific situations and uh, instead of uh, push them to be evicted, offer them uh, some social rent uh, uh, mechanism to protect it and to continue to live in, in their house paying a, a social rent. You know? Uh, is a mechanism that at least is another uh, tool, another option that uh, has been offered to the families in order to protect uh, the borrower and the debtor of, of, the, of, the, of the loans. And that is a mechanism that is, uh, is, uh, is working uh, uh, very well for some uh, specific segment of the families. Uh, and as, uh, as Nicolas Atillenis uh, has mentioned, is another of the solutions that uh, maybe would, we, we, we would consider here in, in Cyprus, as well as we have implemented in other, in other countries to fix uh, this kind of problem. So you, you intend to adopt this mechanism or something similar? I, I, I think that the value, the, the value that we can add is to share the best practices uh, that we have implemented in other countries and, and also avoid the mistakes that we have made in the past uh, four years. No? I think that the experience of Altamira in this sense is that to provide some tools, uh, some ways uh, to fix the, the issues of the debtor and the issues of the financial institutions in the right way, in the right manner, and protect the rights of everybody into, into the market. No? So, I was very honored to have you in <coughs> this uh, small discussion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hope, good luck to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.